guys, thanks again for checking out this channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I paint in Photoshop. So as you watch this video, I assume that you know already the basics or basic functions of Photoshop. How the tools are used, everything about it. So that you will be familiar with the words and tools that I'm going to use within the tutorial or within the video. Learning the basics of Photoshop will be a separate video because if I'm going to include that in this video, it will take us forever. It will take us a lot of time. We all have different styles in making artwork. Well, it's for you to find out. As an artist, you don't have to compare your work with the work of other artists because you have your own way, your own style, your own unique way of making it. I am also a little bit of a beginner when it comes to Photoshop painting because it's not really it's not really my medium. I always love color pencil and graphite. That's it. And Photoshop painting is my least favorite. I'll try my best to teach the basics of Photoshop painting in this video. I learned these basics from other artists too and I find it easy to apply it in my own style. I hope you will like the video. Let's go! I'll be painting a portrait here and I usually start it with tracing a rough outline of the picture using the paintbrush tool in Photoshop and this outline will serve as a guide for the whole process of the painting. The next thing I do is to fill out the outline with flat colors still using the paintbrush tool and these colors will serve as base colors of the painting. I usually use the eyedropper tool to select colors from the picture and apply it on the painting. The next step is to fill out the darker areas of the face or where the shadow should fall, still using the eyedropper tool to select the exact colors from the original photo. And then I start a blend by changing the opacity and flow of the paintbrush tool into 50%. Well, this is just how I blend the colors and I learned this from other artists too. It's just lowering the opacity and flow of the paintbrush tool. Well, it always depends on what percentage you're going to change it, depending on your preference. I also use the eyedropper tool to select the exact colors, the highlights, the darker areas to blend, and you'll just continue blending it to your eyes appeal. Well, I tell you, blending will take you a lot of time, but you'll get used to it. So those are basically the tools that you'll need most of the time in Photoshop painting. The paintbrush tool and the eyedropper tool. Actually, my right hand here is holding the pen and the pen tablet. And my left hand here is holding the keyboard shortcuts of the paintbrush and eyedropper tool. Do you still remember the rough outline that we made in the first part of the painting? Well, it will not be included in the final output because it will just serve as a guide on the exact placement of the elements of the painting. So it will just be deleted in the final output. So I'm doing now the details of the painting and all you need to do is to resize the brush depending on the detail that you are going to achieve. Well, we all have different ways of doing Photoshop painting and using different tools too, but I find it comfortable this way and I like it. The 
girl that I model here is my friend and her name is Diane and she's also my workmate. Hi Dam, I know you're watching this. And now I'm putting the details of the hair and I changed my round brush into a special brush and this brush will create a hair-like effect when used. Believe me, the hair is the most difficult to achieve. You know, achieving those highlights, those dark areas and shadows, it's really struggling. But just have a little bit of patience, you'll get there. Putting some details on the shirt, making some highlights and shadows, you know, finalizing a little bit and also putting some highlights on the background, also on the face, some highlights, finalizing a little bit. And it's done! Hey guys, thanks again for checking out this channel. For today's video, for today's video, I assume that you know already the basics. This is so nuts. Photoshop painting is my least favorite.
Photoshop painting is my least favorite. Oh lord. Teach the basics of Photoshop painting in this video. In this video. Easy to apply it apply it in my own. Apply it in my own. Thank you. Thank you. Kaya mo yan. Please. Coronavirus. Out. Out. Hello. Hey guys. Welcome back. No. You will be familiar. So that you. So that you will be familiar. With the tools. Everybody. Praise the Lord. Sings of revival. Ooh, hey.